Hey everyone, uh, haven't been uh, doing any videos for a while, so I'm kind of happy about this one and excited. Um, I just got this a few days ago in the mail um, from eBay. It's a uh, leather face mask from the Texas Chainsaw Massacre Part 2 from 1986. Got this uh, from uh, places uh, Sinister Studio, which uh, he also I found has a website. Um, he has other masks on there. Um, this one I believe is called the uh, the Hammerhead. I'm not 100% sure of the name, but it's a definitely a representation of how he looked in Texas Chainsaw Massacre 2. Uh, I'm really happy to get this. Uh, Texas Chainsaw Massacre 2 is one of my favorites of the uh, Texas Chainsaw Massacre movies. Uh, I just met Carolyn Williams at a convention a few months ago and I'm going in a few months I'm going to meet Bill Mosley and I'm hoping to meet Bill Johnson who is the, the man who played Leatherface in that movie. Uh, I think the sculpt is really good on this. If you compare it to pictures, turn it a little bit here. If you compare it to pictures of Leatherface from that movie, um, the coloring seems right. Um, the only thing uh, I don't really like about it, and I'm probably going to change it and customize him a little bit is um his hair um on his head there it's if you can see it's partly black but if you turn him he's only his hair is only black in the front there and then it's brown on the top um I think it should be all black, but I think that's how it is in the movie. So I might, I might uh, dye that or spray paint it or something black, make it all black. Um, that's really the only thing I don't like about it. But it's a small thing not, not to like. Um, I also think that the stitching here, you know, that's holding the pieces of different. Um, faces together. I think that was black also in the movie so I may change those colors to match the movie more. Um, I think it's cool it's got hair on his chin and then there's like a mustache from the other side here from the other face. Um, that's accurate to the movie. I've seen masks of him, um, other versions of, of him from part two masks that don't have the hair so that's accurate. Um, but yeah, I'm actually I'm overall I'm very pleased with this. Uh, let me know what you guys think. Again, it's from Sinister Studio. I got it on eBay. It's like $180. Um, he also has a website. Uh, check it out. Thanks.